Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do these cute little ribbons. Um, I did HTV, so iron-on vinyl or heat transfer vinyl on the ribbons. And so it says, um, it's to Emma. So I did repeating Emma with the reindeer in between here. And then on this little um, tag, I did, it was, it's a Secret Santa exchange. So I put Secret Santa on that one with one reindeer. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's so easy. Um, I would say that in general, when I'm using HTV, I do love my glitter HTV, which I realize not everyone loves it. Um, but it is really easy to use, and that's partially why I love it so much. It's easy to cut, weed, and also transfer over. So, and what I mean by that is because it's a little bit thicker, a little bit more durable, like it reminds me literally of fruit roll up. <laughs> so it has that like leather feel. So it's, there's um, like a thickness to it. So it's easy to handle. Um, and when you're ironing it on, what's nice is when you're not ironing onto clothes, um, I like it because it doesn't require a lot of heat before it gets activated and then it sticks on. And what I mean by that is this is to ribbon. So whether it, um, in this case it was satin, ribbon, but you can also do grow, grow grain, um, books, folders, all that stuff. I iron on paper, cardstock. Um, I love using the glitter HTV because it's so easy to handle. I will use regular vinyl as well though, regular HTV as well. So, all right, I'm going to show you how to do this because I, I love it for two, for a couple of reasons. Um, it turned out really, really cute, but I love the little reindeer. So this reindeer that you see on the screen right now, it is in design space. So if you have um, access, which I do, then it's included in your membership. Uh, this reindeer is cool because I weeded it out. And so I have the outline of the reindeer on the original ribbon. But what you weed out is this perfect reindeer. So you can use this again. I'm gonna use this again and I'm gonna use the same nose. So the red nose. Uh, it's gonna look really, really cute, but I love the idea of being able to use it twice. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do, of course, is measure out your ribbon. The ribbon that I have, the width is one and a half inches. So it's substantial. Um, actually, is the ribbon one and a half? It is one and a half. So you wanna make sure, of course, your ribbon's gonna have like, um, a little bit on the top and the bottom that's not usable space. I mean, it's usable because it's ribbon, right? There are certain things where I would tell you, don't go all the way to the edge, because for instance, um, I did pencil boxes yesterday. If I go to the edge, it's gonna catch like on your arm, it's gonna rub up against something. So what happens is then, of course, your material is gonna pull up and then you're gonna wanna peel it off and so it's not good. But something like ribbon that is not going to get a lot of um, high touch frequency <laughs> um, and no one's washing it it's not being touched a lot it's just sitting on a wrapped present you can go all the way to the edge but in this case with it being one and a half inches it gives us a lot of room so i will not go all the way to the edge if you can see emma goes to 1.25 so it, i gave myself a lot of room to really get it kind of in the middle so let's go to images and I picked the reindeer because I thought it would be cute to add a little bit of color by making it Rudolph. So I made the, the nose, um, you know, glittery red. It's so cute. Um, so here it's this image right here. So I was looking, I liked this one as well, but I liked this one just because it felt I just felt like the lines would cut easily um, and I would be weeding the inside, so I liked this one. So let's insert this one. And I'll show you how to do the red nose. So this is one whole enclosed image, right? So what's nice about something being enclosed is that you can go to contour. So let me show you what that looks like. So when you click on contour, you can I'm gonna, just gonna click a few of these circles, okay? Just so you can see what, what changes. You see how the eye changes and then the nose is gone? So you're basically, you're able to hide things from this image. So let me go back to contour. I'm gonna click back. If you click back hide all, then you can show all. So you can go back to the original. If you click on where the percentage is, it will automatically go to 
Now I have a, I want to get rid of the nose because I want to do the red in there. But in this case, I feel like, so I can kind of click on it and get rid of the nose, I think, but it just feels like it's hard to tell if I'm clicking on the right thing. I think that's the nose. So the nose is gone. So you could do it this way and then you can bring in your own red nose by clicking on the circle. And then let's make this smaller. And you can put it down here. You can make that nose as big or as small as you want and then change that to red. Okay. Or, and then once you have it like this, what I would do is I would grab both items and I would group it. So that way it moves as one image and then you can resize it and both gets resized um, at the same time. So you don't wanna resize just the, the reindeer outline and then also the nose is too big, right? Now it's, it'll be proportionate. Um, but this is actually the preferred way that I did it. So let's go back to images and insert that reindeer. Okay, here we go. So what I did, so you can either contour to get rid of that nose, or you could do this. This is, I'm going to bring in my circle, and I'm going to slice it out, because this way I can make sure that my nose is the right size. So I'm going to do this. So I'm going to put that circle over that nose. I'm going to grab the two items, and I'm going to slice it. So this way, here's my nose, I can make that red. So you can either have a nose that looks like this, or you can go to contour and hide that middle circle and it'll be a full circle. And that's the exact size that the way the designer created this. So you could do that. Um, all right, and then you just do the name. So let's get rid of these two things. I love this font. It's Happy Popcorn from Font Bundles, and I'll make sure to include the link on here. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I typed in happy. Um, let's go to the font and type in Happy Popcorn. And I like this font because it's easy to cut, weed, and read. So on this, like, um, I like all caps. So I'm gonna type in Emma. And I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. So this font, it's really cute. It has these little cutouts, but honestly, a lot of times I just get rid of the cutouts because I don't wanna deal with the vinyl not cutting properly. So what you want to do to get rid of that is I will grab the name and why is it not letting me do anything to it? So that's so weird. Hold on. Let's do it again. So let's type in it. I didn't weld it unless I did it without really realizing that I did okay this is getting weird let's see where's my text all right oh I, did I no I didn't pull it from up here that's so weird this Emma was already it's not letting me do anything to it oh it's thinking still design space I don't know I'm gonna have to look at this video again all right so I'm gonna type in the name again let's see if it works this time now it's not even working but okay so what you want to do is let's just resize this we want to do it to you want to go smaller obviously because you don't want to go edge to edge so in this case I would click on the name Oh man, what is going on? It's not even letting me resize it up here. How weird. Okay, so we can resize it by doing this. Normally I would just type it in up here. So um, go to about 1.25 because your ribbon is one and a half inches. And then same thing with Rudolph. So I would do this and 
make it about one and a half, right? And then just measure with your ribbon because then you can do, um, on my ribbon, the tails, I ended up doing Rudolph, Emma, Rudolph, Emma, Rudolph, and then Secret Santa, I had, I should have measured that one better, but um, I ended up doing two Rudolphs. Originally, I wanted to do Secret, Rudolph, Santa, but the way I put it on the ribbon, there was so much space up here, I had to put another reindeer. But that's all that you do. Let's see if I, I can't even go to the Make It page. All right, so I am completely um, out of things I can do on here, but hopefully that was enough to get you started and to do all sorts of things. Like I would love to, no one's gonna forget that you gave the gift, so you don't necessarily have to put your name on it. You could just put their name, like either rotating, I would put, um, I think what would be really pretty is a wreath with little red dots on it, I mean, just to bring it some color, but not too much detail. Um, a Santa hat, there's lots of things that you can do. And then for other occasions, there's so many things that you can do, whether it's to the bride and groom, how pretty is that, right? To the Mr. and Mrs. and then you have champagne glasses or I don't know what else, but there's so many things that you can do with the ribbon. I think it's so pretty. All right, hit me with your comments, questions, and any special requests. I would love to see it and help you out. All right, bye.